Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're taking a look at the third beer that Pizza Port has canned. This is Swami's IPA. A beer that a lot of you requested me to review and my response was, well, if I find it fresh, I'll buy it or review it. That's exactly what I did. This can is currently a week old, seven uh, days since canning, 6.8% ABV. I want to say that this might be the first ever uh, IPA that was made in San Diego. I'm not entirely sure, but this is just definitely an old school San Diego IPA, originally created at the original Pizza Port in Solana Beach. So I got it poured out. It's a uh, nice clear. It's a very light for probably what a lot of you typically see in IPA, but kind of what I like. When I mean, you're talking like base malt plus like a very light colored, maybe crystal malt to it, not a whole lot of uh, extra malts in there. Bright white head, good carbonation. Let's get the aroma. It's a combination of like floral citrus notes. You get a little bit of fruitiness, a little bit of like grassiness in there too. Not quite your typical West Coast IPA. Citrus tends to be sweeter, more of that like tangerine, sort of mandarin orange characteristic. Really floral, almost perfumey type of beer. And that just kind of blends in with the citrus, maybe a little bit of like a sort of like a peach kind of maybe like nectarine sort of like slight stone fruit character on the nose as well so uh yeah it's a little different take on a typical west coast ipa so let's dig in cheers yeah it's it's really nice solid drinking beer nice bitterness up front not overwhelming bitterness Let's you know it's definitely an IPA. I would say the, the flavor is a little different than the nose. It, I, I get less of that kind of spiciness to get more of those sweeter orange notes. Definitely picking up some floral spicy notes in there as well, especially on the finish. It's a very dry beer, as you expect. Crisp, easy drinking type of beer for 6.8%. Absolutely sessionable, even though it's nearing 7% ABV in terms of just like, to me, drinkability. Because you got some initial kind of like hop sweetness up front, a little bit of a sweet kind of bready, caramelly malt backbone that you know lets the hop shine through. It doesn't get in the way, which is what a good IPA should should do when it comes to the malt characteristics. It's got a little bit of that resiny sort of so slightly piney notes. I wouldn't say it's overly piney though. More resiny, kind of spicy notes. To pair with those sweeter fruits um, maybe a little less stone stone fruit on the flavor than the aroma but it's got a nice kind of like hop sweetness to go with that more drier resiny spicy type of hop character i would say the more you drink it the more the bitterness builds up and leaves a, a nice dry sort of lingering finish it's it's definitely old school type of ipa um, not exactly what I'm looking for these days. To me, I'm looking for something that's a little more fruity, a little more tropical, and uh, like that melon character in there. This is kind of old school, so it's kind of hard to grade this one for me. Uh, in terms of where I think it stands with some of my new favorite IPAs, uh, I'm gonna go lean towards more B. But in terms of uh, six pack of 16 ounce cans priced at $13, uh, for a great tasting IPA, great example of the style, you know, I go with like an A minus with it. It, it, it. It's it's in some respects different than some of the other IPAs out there, and it's been around forever in San Diego. So it's it's a, really a classic beer, absolutely worth checking out if you can get the cans, um, or you know get someone to throw them in as an extra as a trade or something. And the fact that they can, they put the date on the bottom of the can, you know that really helps, especially having it uh, this fresh. So actually, I was about to finish up the review and I was taking a sip and. You know, it trades off depending on if you, if you keep going back for like swigs, sw quick swigs, it tends to build up more of that piney resiny character, but then if I kind of let it sit and talk and drink it again, I get way more of that sweeter kind of orangey, peachy, apricot kind of notes to it. So kind of keep that in mind with the, how you drink it, how quickly you drink it, kind of kind of alters the perception of uh, on your palate of the beer. So that's going to wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.